Well, welcome back, everybody. I do hope you have a wonderful new year, a great Christmas, and we are back. So today, um, we're gonna go ahead and do something super nice, super cool, it's very easy, is Turkish kebabs. So what we need here, about two pounds of ground beef. I'm not doing the lamb, guys, just doing the ground beef. Pretty much what we're gonna need, these are vegetables in here, tomatoes, onions, lime, lemon, I don't have my lime in there, and uh, scallops. Garlic, salt, pepper, and, and the cool thing about this recipe is that um, we're gonna do our own pitas. And this is very simple. What do you do? You go to your local bakery and buy you dough is ready to go right here. And I'll show you how they what we're gonna do. It's pretty cool. By the way, this is a two, three dollars. Okay. Uh, this recipe here can feed probably about four or six people. And um we're gonna get going with this one right now. It's pretty cool. Hey, um, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for stopping by. Please subscribe, it means the world to me. Um, if you like the video, hit the like, and also share this video with family and friends. It's just simple cooking. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so is your ground beef here ready to go? Uh, I like to use the kosher salt. Okay, it's fine. Put your salt in there. And once again, yeah, on camera it looks like there's a lot of salt. Black pepper. And keep in mind, you can do whatever you want. You wanna add more stuff, go ahead and do it. This is my version, this is the way I'll do it. And this is the way I like it. So I do have here garlic, about one tablespoon, boom. A good healthy one. And now here, previously, I chopped onions and uh, tomatoes and a little parsley. Gonna go ahead and put this in here, guys. There we go. What do you want to do is I go ahead and give it my good mix. Okay. Now, after you do this immediately, <clears throat> bring this to the fridge, okay? And the reason why is when you start doing your kibosh, you don't want them to fall in there or go all over the place. And this is pretty much what you're looking for. Now, you can do this in a cast iron, and I'll show you a little secret. Or you can do this in an open fire. In this case, we're gonna do it in an open fire. Here we go. So this goes immediately in the fridge, at least for 15, 20 minutes. Let it sit in there and get relaxed and all happy, happy. In the meantime, really quick, this is gonna be for you, Peters. So previously, chop my cucumber and force, peel it. Also, if you want to use sour cream or yogurt, which is fine. In this case, I got a good friend of mine by name Sirhan. He goes crazy with a yogurt in the, the hot butter, okay? So there's your cucumber. Grab some of these tomatoes, long tomatoes, okay? Cut them and dice them in here pretty good. Right here. Let's do one more. And we're almost there. Right here. See, we almost get in there. Scallion, okay? Lots of flavors in this bad boys. Now you wanna do this one very thin, okay? Don't go too, too thick on it. Okay. 
right there. Thin, very thin. By the way, take your time when you do that, okay? Don't get in an accident. I like a sweet onion. What I'll do, I'll do a little bit too. There we go. And let's grab some of this bad boys in here. Italian. There should be plenty in there. And now, parsley. What I wanna do is just go like this and shave your parsley a little bit. See? Gonna be too rough with it. And then grab your parsley here. Now, don't have to be super fine, okay? Just one or two passes in here. You wanna have the flavor of the parsley right there. Now, gotta get this guy here. And then we're gonna add salt. Pepper. In this case, I'm using the black pepper, not white. And here we go. Squeeze this guy here, very good. One more here. And let this guy sit in here in the fridge all the time we're cooking. Here we go. And here we go, okay? Now the next step, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this cures or the kebabs. And then I'm gonna put it on the grill for you guys to see how we do it. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the pitas. It's very, very simple, okay? So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so you grab your dough, take some, roll it. Here we go. Simple as that, pick it up here, put it back in here. And whatever size you want is fine. And that's pretty much what you're looking for right here. Okay, now hold on, I wanna show you. So I got this one's here already, look. That's what you're looking for. There's your pita. Beautiful, homemade, okay? Okay guys, so this is what you got right here, okay? This is your pita, okay? Nice and crunchy. And you gotta repeat this as many times you want, as many pitas you need, okay? Let me go ahead and do the other ones and I'll get back with you. Well guys, we're ready to go ahead and start the charcoal. I watch a hundred videos and it's a debate how you start this thing. Some people use paper on the bottom. Some people use oil and the charcoal. It's a hundred different ways. Well, me, I have my own way to do it. Watch. You know, when you work a lot of hours and uh, you have a few days off, one of the things that you do is you make your life very easy for you. And I'm one of those guys. Oops. And that's how I start my stuff. See, look at that. It's already going. All right. Well, I'll see you in a little bit when we put the meat in here. All right guys, so as you see they're here ready. That's what you're looking for, that color, even all the way around. So let's assemble one of these bad boys in here right now. Let's grab our pita. Put one of these guys in here. And what I like to do is bring this guy here. And 
And if you want to top it off a little bit with sour cream, you're more than welcome to do it. I like it. And voila. Here we go. Look at this guy. How beautiful is that? And by the way, it's very easy to do. Trust me. Hey, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, hit a like button. That means a lot. And uh, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from everybody. And always remember, you deserve a good meal. Mm-hmm.